This call is now being recorded. I think Guruji's mic is mute. Can we just unmute the Guruji's mic? One of you are able to hear me? Yeah, yeah. Now I can hear you. You can. Guruji can carry on. I'm Suman from Guwahati. Yes. So the student comes to the teacher and asks, sir. I want to know about the reality. So please guide me. So the name of the student that is put forth here is called Bhrugu. The name of the teacher is Varna, Varna Maheshi. So the teacher tells him, okay, go and find out, do tapas. Tapasa Brahma Vijigna Saswa Tapa He said, by doing tapas you can get. Just like in modern science, it is said, okay, go and do experiment to find the reality. Similarly, yes. then the student doesn't know what is tapas, he starts looking. What is that? What is that? You know? Then the teacher will give a hint. See, there is something within you from where you are born. 
that is the same thing that sustains you throughout your life. When you die, you go back to the same thing. Find out what it is. That is Brahman. Yato va imani bhuta nijayante, ye najata nijivante, yat prayante abhisam vishante, tad vidigna saswa, tad brahmati. That is Brahman. Find out that. So he gives a hint. Then the students start thinking. He goes back. What is it from which I am made? And what is it that sustains me? And when I die also, I go back to the same thing. What is that? What is that? What is that? Maybe a few days. Suddenly he gets a fresh. You know. Eureka of Archimedes. I got it. I got it. You know, it jumps with joy. Ha, bo, ha, bo, ha, bo. I got it. I got it. And the teacher asks, what did you find? Annam Brahmeti Vyajanath Ananda Thevakal Vibani Bhuta Nijayante Ande Najata Nijayante Annam Prayanti Abhisham Vishanti Tad Vignaya Punare Vavarunam Pitara Bhupasasara Adhi Hibhagavo Brahmeti Oh great teacher, please that we know I am correct. Because Look at what I am made out of, all matter principle, Anna. Therefore, I am made out of atoms, molecules, everything. You know? What is the thing that sustains me? The food I eat. What is the food? Again, matter. When I die, what happens? The body gets burnt or it gets buried. So, go back to the matter. Therefore, I conclude, sir, that Anna is Brahma, matter is Brahman, ultimate reality is nothing but matter principle. So, the student understood that. And what did the teacher say? Good, 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 my dear boy. But you have to go further. Too deeper tapas. Tapasa Brahma Vijigna Saswa Tapo Brahmeti. This is where science stands today, after 400 years. Newton and Decatur started the ball rolling 400 years back. They went on finding more and more understanding about the physical world. They understood at one stage, matter and energy are two different things. And later on, we also understood that matter and energy are not two different things. They are one. Everything is nothing but energy, we understood. So, can we find out then what it is? Science said, yes. V equals mc square. You can calculate how much of energy is in given matter. I can convert this entire thing into energy. We understood. And from energy, can you get back matter? Yes. Atom bomb converted atom into energy. Few grams of hydrogen, hydrogen bomb, burnt up the whole of the Hiroshima in the Second World War. And how to convert energy into matter? The equipment is called cyclotron. In cyclotron, you go on increasing the energy, increasing, increasing, then matter emerges. Therefore, we are prone to experiment that matter and energy or same. And we also understood the laws that govern them. Newton's laws of motion, quantum mechanics, theory of relativity. So for everything we understood about the physical world. So this is what our student, Vrugu, understood. Then what is happening to science? Now it is going beyond matter. This is what the teacher told. Brugu, come on, go further, go deeper, deeper the most, deeper experiment, find out what it is. Then again, Brugu went on thinking and thinking and thinking. So, what is it that is beyond body? You know, he says you have to go deeper. Then he goes on thinking few more days, maybe a week or whatnot. 
then he thought of two persons. A person is lying down, two bodies are lying down, one body has got a heart attack and is dead. Another person is doing shavasana. What is the difference? Matter is common, anna is common. What is special here? Here we have prana, there is no prana. Prano brahme divya janat, prana dhevakal vivani bhuta nijayante, prana najata nijivanti, pranam prayante abhisam vishante di tad vignaya. Have you understood what happened? Again he ran with great enthusiasm and joy. That's what did I have got it? Punare varunam pitara mukasasara adhi hi bhagavo brahmeti. Sir, please let me know whether I am right. I found I am not just matter or atoms and molecules. I am not just sanna, prana, prana. Put the teacher pats him on the back again. Very good, very good, dear. No? Go further, go further. Tapasa, brahma, vijigna, saswa. Something, teacher. Else. Again, the student goes back, start thinking. What is it? I thought that prana is everything. What else? Then, after a few days of thinking and thinking and thinking, then he thinks of a person who had a big accident and he was hit in the accident. He became unconscious. I remember it happened to one of my friend's father. You know? He was just going and there was a big hit and he just fell down. And somebody immediately took him to Nimhans. You know, here in Bangalore, there's a big center. How many of you know about Nimhans? Here, National Institute of Mental and Neurosciences. So he was brought there. And the person who was looking after is Dr. Verma, who was the director, is a neurosurgeon. And all his family members came. My friend's family went there. And he said he had to undergo immediate surgery. Yes. And the surgery took three and a half hours. And Dr. Verma came out happily and said, Oh, my surgery is successful. You'll come back to normalcy. Nothing to worry. No. So everybody was happy. So I brought back to the normal ward from the ICU. And he was lying there two days, three days, four days, five days. He was just lying down. And these people went. Dr. Saab, what happened? You said everything is successful, you come to normalcy. Yes, yes, it takes time. You know? The system has to come back to normalcy. You know? 15 days, one month. Then he says, yes, it may even take three months, six months for that to happen. You know? So what was happening? Body is there. Prana is there. Something is missing. What is missing? What is missing? Mind. Mano Brahme Tevya Janat. That's why we have the body, we have the prana, but if the mind is not there, then the last. Therefore, Mano Brahme Tevya Janat. Mind is reality. He understood. And therefore, he was very happy this time. He thought, now my teacher will accept me. But what happened to his teacher? Teacher again patted, patted him on the back. Wonderful, wonderful, my dear boy. Come on, go, go further. You know, go further and find out deeper things. Tapasa, Brahma, Vijigna, Saswa. Always, the role of the teacher is very easy. Only student has to go on doing it. You know? Teacher will say, do this, do this, do this. You have to go on do it. So, Varuna said, go on do it. So, I thought, I thought that mind is everything. Now, he says, there. Then again, he went on thinking, thinking again. Then, he put up an incident. In fact, it happened. You know, there was a very brilliant boy. He was always first in first. You know, POC, he was top of the rank. SLC, first rank. POC, first rank. Then he joined engineering. First year, second year, third year. He topped the list. Always 95, 98%. Mark. Very, very brilliant boy. But fourth year, something happened to him. He could not remember things. He could not maintain his logic. And he got weird. And he started working more. 
10 hours, 12 hours, 14 workers, hours she started working, so that you have to maintain, you know. It's no use. In the examination, the worst thing happened, you know. He thoroughly failed. He got single digit marks. I was shocked. Again, he came back to the months. And they went on giving a lot of you know, tablets. It became more sleepy and sleepy. No improvement. Two months, no improvement. Now September is coming. And they had to take the examination. So what to do, what to do? They went. At that time, Dr. Gangadhar was the director. Gangadhar said, hey, why don't you go to Dr. Nagaratna and yoga can help you. And that's how he landed up here in our Prashanti Kutiram, in our Aurogadham. And in Aurogadham, he came and first day, second day, third day, started improving very fast. Within four or five days, you know, he started getting back his memory. Seven, eight days, nine days, he started getting back his logic. He was getting very, very happy. After 10 days, Dr. Nagaratna said you can reduce your medicine. 10 tablets you were taking, reduced it to only two. And 20 days, he was fine. He was taking only one tablet. Then he was going out. Then I asked him, I called him, come on. See, here from morning till night, you learn so many things. Asana, pranayama, mudras, bandhas, kriyas, meditation, cyclic meditation, home meditation, bhajans, everything. Which is the one that helped you most? Then he said, very humorous. I understood my mind that helped me most. He said, What do you mean by that? I understood that my mind was running like a supersonic jet fighter. He said, Huh? Supersonic jet fighter? What do you mean? I asked. See, I speak the first sentence. Before I speak the second sentence, there are 1,000 thoughts in my mind. So fast was my mind. Therefore, the second sentence I speak has no relation to the first. What I was talking, I myself was not knowing. How do other people understand? It's called neuroticism. He had become a neurotic. Therefore, what is the solution? I have to slow down my thoughts. So, pranayama helped me. And asanas helped me. Kriyas helped me. Every practice helped me. Day by day, I went on slowing down. Because I understood yoga is mana prashamana upayaha, calming down of the mind, slowing down of the mind is the most important. I started slowing down by breath. My breathing was very fast, 30, 30 per minute, started reducing. It all started coming very nicely. Within seven, eight days, from 1,000 thoughts to 500 thoughts, 100 thoughts, 20 thoughts, 10 thoughts, 3 thoughts. Therefore, I start getting back my logic, start getting back my memory. And, and I'm going, sir, I have only one tablet. I'm sure even that I'm going to leave. I said, you have to be very careful. You have to continue your practice. Which is the practice? Minimum cyclic meditation. You know, he said, I'm, I'm assuring you, sir, I'm going to do that. And please keep me informed. After one week, after going back, he called me, sir, now I'm doing very well. Even that last tablet I have dropped. After a consultation with Dr. Gangadhar, I'm doing very fine, everything is okay. Then in that examination, he got again 95% more. So he had body, he had the prana, he had the mind. But what was missing? Control of the mind, the buddhi. That's called Vignana. Vignanam Brahmeti Vyajanat. I may have the body. I have the prana, I have the mind, but if mind is uncontrolled, I'm hysterical, I'm neurotic, psychotic, pagalpan. No? Therefore, you have to have the controller of the mind, the buddhi, you had lost the power of analysis, power of logic, because of uncontrolled speed of the mind. Therefore, control of the mind. This time he thought as my teacher is going to completely agree and he will say, okay, you got it. But when he came to his teacher, incidentally, Varuna was also his father. Varunam Pitaram Upasasara. He came back to his father, his teacher. What do you say, sir? 
very good very good very good wonderful so that quickly you should go for one more step you know one more step you go further tapasa brahma vidigna satswa tapo brahmeti find out from where that controller of the thought is going to emerge find out from where the thoughts will come out that source that causal state from where the thoughts arise from where the power of controller comes from where the intellect emerges find out what it is is telling so this time he goes and sits this time it was very difficult you know mind was working 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 you know and could not go find out from where the thoughts are emerging one week over two weeks over two months over till he was able to control the mind the mind was slowing down but not enough you know how long it took many many months maybe maybe years and it's all that he was trying to uh, he started getting purifying himself and one day he got to try it what did he find anando brahme divya janat ananda dhevakal vimani bhuta nijayante anande na jata nijivanti anandam prayanti avisam pishanti iti tad vignaya so he understood he realized that i am ananda so very 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 happy he was completely blissful then something different happened he did not go back to his teacher what happened sapara me vyoman pratishtita he just sat in the deep silence in the deep samadhi state no he did not come back to his teacher then teacher thought what is happening to my son it is such a long time already 5 6 years over whether he is alive or not So he started searching, 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 and he came, and he found that he was sitting there in that wonderful state of bliss, and happiness was emerging from him. He understood. Yes, he has reached. Now the question is, why did he not come back to his teacher to report? Each time when he came, he had a doubt whether I am right or not. But this time we had no doubt why it can be doubt as long as our mind is working as long thinking is going on but when you go beyond the thoughts when you go into that state of silence how can you have questions can you have deep sleep not dream even in dream you can have question but when you go to deep sleep or sushupti dreamless sleep can you have questions that's why he did not have question so when you go to that state all your questions will vanish vidyate hrudaya grantihi chidyante sarva samshayah kshiyante cha asya karmani tasmin drushte varavare said upar chatre when you go into that state of realization then all your doubts will vanish and that is the state called ananda may kosha so it's the thing that happens and anando brahmeti vijana an incident so oh, again in mahan sakshin there is a person who was a psychotic and he got a lot of improvement then in mahas they put him in the receptionist in the receptionist he was sitting there whoever comes he will take all the data what is your name address everything you will put and then give different rooms that was his work so at that time you know jawaharlal nehru he was our prime minister he comes the two persons and yes for you what's your name so everybody thought what he does all about our nehru ji the person said hey don't you know he is our prime minister he is our jawaharlal nehru oh is it so room number 6 room number 6 why when i came i was also telling the same thing therefore he put me into room number 6 so i went to room number 6 and went on improving this is psychosis so you may have the buddhi and buddhi may be perverted it's called agnana the agnana should go away the right knowledge pramana should come vipareya 
whoever thinks is that. So that's what happens in the higher state of realization. So Ananda is the causal state from where the whole Jagat has come. So it is the source of all thought. It's called Samadhi. It's immense bliss. And he did not come back. So Parame Vyoman Pratishtita. And what is the state? Parame Vyoman. He just sat in the deep silence. So silence, that is the causal state of all creation. So it's from the state of silence, the whole creation comes up. This is the Ananda Vimam Sati. So that is the Ananda Maya Kosha. Ananda Maya Kosha, then Vijnana Maya Kosha, Mano Maya Kosha, Prana Maya Kosha, finally Anna Maya Kosha. This is the whole sequence of the creation. Starting from Ananda Maya Kosha, everything comes. And all these are in continual change. And that bit beyond the change is the pure consciousness. That is ultimate reality called Parabrahman. Ultimate reality, Paramatman. So this is the whole essence of the Upanishad. Therefore, Ananda Maikosha tells, Ananda is our causal state. So what is the goal of life? The goal of life to maintain that Ananda, to realize the Ananda, maintain the Ananda throughout our life. You have to move. For that, you have to all conduct this experiment. Just like when the teacher teaches you hydrogen, oxygen, gives you water. You, know, you have to go conduct the experiment systematically, one by one, one by one, until you really get the water in your lab. Similarly, we must all do this experimentation. Move from the body level to the prana level, the mind level, the emotional level, intellectual level, and beyond. Ananda. This is what we have to do. That at the five layer existence. So in Ananda Maya Kosha, that is the Ananda. It is the absence of all miseries. It is a state of transcendence from thoughts. It is a state where Triputi has vanished. It is a state where the trifold process has merged into a single state. And it is a state of wonderful bliss and great knowledge and tremendous amount of power and freedom comes. We can say in the world, this is a state of perfection. It is a state of total health. It is a state of no illnesses. It is totally stress-free. What do people want when they have a lot of pain? They go to the doctor, doctor give me a sleeping pill so that I can sleep. Because in sleep, we forget everything. Even the cancer patients, what tremendous pain they have. They say, doctor, normal tablets will not do. You have to give me very powerful thing. Morphine, you have to give. So I take morphine and go there. So that is our Ananda Mai Kosha. It's called as the Karana Sharira. It is called the causal state. It is the cause from where the whole universe has come. That is Ananda Mai Kosha. From there, we come to the Vignana Mai Kosha. In Vignana Mai Kosha, intellect comes into operation. You know, it is a state of Vignana. You know, and slowly the differences start coming up. The mind start working, intellect start analyzing. You know? But in this state, you have the complete knowledge, Trikala Gnana, knowledge of the past, present, and future. Everything is known. It what Krishna Bhagavan says to Arjuna. Arjuna, why are you in such great grief? Because you do not know what is going to happen to this war, Kurukshetra war. Whether you are going to win, whether you are not going to win, what is going to happen, you don't know. Whereas I know everything, what is going to happen in the future, what all has happened in the past, everything I know. You know. Then in this state, every action is done in tune with the cosmic law, with total understanding. And therefore, there is no disease, there is no misery, there is no pain, there is no bondage in Vignana Mai Kosha. It is a state of masterliness. These are the people who established dharma in the society, in the world. It is stress-free maturity. Not only great personalities like Krishna, Rama, Vasitta, all these people are there in the epic characters. 
But the greatness of our country is, in our country, every state excel with such great masters. We have Santa Grande from Maharashtra. We have Swaminarayan from Gujarat. We have Shankaracharya from Kerala. We have Rangavadhar Mahaswami from Karnataka, Andhra. Go to Tamil Nadu, you have a large number of Siddhars, Agastya, and number of Siddhars there. You go to Madhya Pradesh, we had a large number of Hatha Yoga masters over there. Then you go to Punjab, we had Guru Nanak. You go to Northeast, in the West, we have the Lahiri Mahacharya, Ikshari, Yukteshwar Giri, great personality. Such great personalities came to India, and therefore India is great. India is divine, and not merely Punya Bhumi, but Divya Bhumi. We are all really fortunate that we are born in this land. That is the grandeur of India. Therefore, Vignana Maikosha is that state. And these people are highly evolved personalities. They know everything past, present, future, and they have the complete control. Hanuman, for example, he was the greatest yogi. He can make his body small, he can make his body big. He had Ashta Siddhis. Similarly, these people also had such great Siddhis. Many of you might have heard of Santa Gnandevi in Maharashtra, greatest of the Gnani. And as a young boy, he was highly developed like Dhruvu, and he got the realization. And he was not accepted into the Brahminal community. So all the Brahmins said, we'll give you a test. If you pass the test, we'll take you and take you into our Brahminical community. Yes, what? They brought a buffalo. If you can make the buffalo chant the Vedas, then we will take you as a Brahmin. You know? Everybody knew it's impossible. Santa Gnan made such a great thing. He just puts his hand on the buffalo and asks buffalo and he started beautifully chanting the Vedas. Could you imagine? And there was a great Hatha Yoga master at that time. He was Changla Deva. Changla Deva was so very powerful in Hatha Yoga. He had masters many things. And he was able to ride on a lion. You know, such was his greatness. Everybody was appreciating him. He was very, very egoistic, very powerful. Then he knew that Santa Gnandev is there and I want to show how powerful I am. I want to show my greatness. So he comes on the lion, riding the lion, coming towards that. You know, Santa Gnandev knows. He and his sister, they were all sitting on a compound wall. There. And Changra Deva is coming like this. And as he starts looking at Santa Gnande, the whole compound wall starts moving towards him. You know. Such are the great masters. You know. What to talk about such great masters? We have Sant Guru Nanak from Punjab, one of the greatest personalities. You know. I was traveling in Ladakh, that area, and I went. There's a big uh, sort of museum like thing where there is a big rock that is put there in the memory of Guru Nanak, they said. I said, what is this rock in memory? They said the story that Guru Nanak was such a great seer. He brought the whole Singh community into such grandeur. He was transforming people, everybody. He was such a great Nani and a great realized master. And he was traveling throughout Punjab in the complete area to inspire people with the spiritual realm. During that period, near this Ladakh, that area, was a huge person. And he had such tapas, he had such powers. He was almost seven feet high, very huge. But he had such power that he can lift a huge rock and then just throw it. Such was this thing. And he was a terror to everybody. Very egoistic, very arrogant. Therefore, everybody said, Guru Nanak, please don't go there. Don't go there. Because this fellow can come, probably he will kill you. Because he wants to show that he is this thing and he wants to finish everybody. And Guru Nanak calmly said, no. He goes there to that area. Now he's still sitting in meditation. And this fellow comes, knows that Guru Nanak is sitting. This is the right time. You know, I can finish him. So he takes a huge rock, you know, about 20 feet diameter. He lifts it and then throws it, throws it on Guru Nanak. Finish, he was thinking. What happened? The whole rock melted like wax. Nothing else. That is Guru Nanak. Such were the great masters in our country. 
That is the Vijnanamai Kosha. In Vijnanamai Kosha, therefore, there is no disease, no misery, no, no stress. That is the state of perfection. Then from there you come to the Vijnana Manomai Kosha. Ananda goes on reducing. When you come to Manomai Kosha, your Ananda further reduces. Slowly, your wrong things start happening. You know? And you find that your emotions take over. You know? And the emotions become very strong. Mind gets uncontrolled. Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Mada, Matsarya. Anger, greed, jealousy, hatred, infatuation, all start mounting up. And what is the result? You know what is right, but you don't do right things. You know what is wrong? You start doing wrong things. This is called Duryodhana character within us. Duryodhana is not just an epic character. Duryodhana is a personality trait within us. What he says? Janami dharmam nachame pravrutihi. Janami adharmam nachame nivrutihi. Ananda has come down and his powers have reduced, you know, but emotions have taken over. Every diabetic knows that I should not eat my corn gulab jamun. But when he faces gulab jamun in front, you know what happens? What happens? When he sees all sweet meat tall, what happens? Kurukshetra war. Why? Tangi Dimani, come on, go and eat, go and eat. Buddhi is telling, no, doctor said, why? Don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. War starts. War is not during Kurukshetra, it goes in our life. So what wins matters. When your monomai posha dominant, tongue wins. A bit, little bit, so nice, you know. After all, without sweet, what is life? After all, take one gulab down, little more, little more, little more. No? This is what happens. So you go against what is right. This is where problems start. This is the root cause for all these modern ailments, all our misery, stressors, all these things are root causes here. That is called Adhi. So Adhi has reduced the Ananda, it has reduced your knowledge, it has brought wrong things and Duryodhana has emerged and Adhi comes up. And from there it comes, becomes the seed of all diseases, seed of all stresses and it is an imbalance, that is silence and activity and therefore the yogic definition of stress is uncontrolled speed of the mind. The boy which I was telling, neurotic, he had uncontrolled speed of the mind. That's what happened. You know? Then it comes down slowly to the next hour, Pranamai Kosha. In Pranamai Kosha, bring is in a balance. Prana is in a balance. Prana, Apana, Samana, Budana, Vyana. All the five Panja Pranas, everything in a balance. And once the Adi starts coming, he starts hitting and causes all imbalances in the Pranamai Kosha. And when the Pranamai Kosha becomes this thing, what happens? Wrong direction of the breathing, wrong quantities, constrictions, blocks. Very fast breathing, shallow breathing, haphazard breathing, uncontrolled breathing, blocks. All this happens to your breathing. Then if you are order to continue, it will come down to the next level. You know? All your chakras which are in a beautiful balance, all start getting disturbed. You know? All the chat chakras which are there with leech ultimate sasrara. You all know? heard of this thing. Muladhara chakra, Swadhisthana, Manipura, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Agra chakras, all these things. You know, it's all in a nice balance within us, it gets disturbed. And that brings about the changes and settles down in the physical body. And it starts hitting the higher centers of the brain, causes autonomic imbalance, endocrine imbalance, and imbalance at all levels. That imbalance percolates to every part of the body, depending on whichever weakest organ that succumbs. If your father is hypertensive, you are also likely to get hypertension. If your father is diabetic, you are also likely to become diabetic. If somebody in your things has got ADHD, you are also likely to become ADHD. So like that. So depending on hereditary, depending on the weakest organ that you have or an injured organ, that succumbs. That becomes a Vyadhi. Adhi becomes a Vyadhi. Adhi brings chronic imbalances and results in 
व्याधि और आधि जब व्याधि और दिस मॉडर्न एनसीडीज नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस आस्थमा डायबिटीज हाइपरटेंशन हार्ट प्रॉब्लम एपिलेप्सी माइग्रेन इरिटेबल बोल सिंड्रोम न्यूरोटिसिज्म साइकोसिस एवरीथिंग कम्स अंडर दिस ब्रॉड हेडिंग ऑफ नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिसीजेस सो द रूट कॉज फॉर ऑल दिस एनसीडीज और हियर इन द आदि मनोमय कोश सो आनंद मीमांसा इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड देयर कॉल्ड द आदि जब व्याधि so by using yoga will be able to completely rehabilitate what is to be done mind level and control speed you have to slow ness slowing down of the mind breathing rate breathing rate should go on reducing 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 and at the body level the stiffness and stress which have come you have to relax the body so what characterizes ananda is relaxation of the body level slowing down of the breath coming down of the mind and bring up emotional balance and experience that is what we do therefore what you are learning here in ananda mimamsa and others is to see that you have the complete control over this thing for that you must learn to change for om krishna paramhamsa gives a nice story no is a great story there was a group of gangsters and this gangsters is to raid a rich person and get lot of money so they knew that in calcutta there is a very rich man you know a billionaire so they found out all details how to go there how to get this how to get all the money everything they planned you know and in the night by 12 o'clock they crossed a stream a small you know, stream of water that is going on there cross the river and went five of them assumed their position all planned went very well and they were able to enter and get lot of riches all diamonds and then gold and everything they brought they were very very happy excited and sat in the boat and started rowing back you know then they said okay who will get what this much for you this much for you this much for you this all negotiation went on you know and they all finished this thing and said okay now we have to hide just like our ride was a big success we must see that we go and hide nobody should be able to find out so they all planned that also go here go here go here different places nobody can find out you no know? everything was done but their boat had not reached the other side you no know? were thinking what happened what happened so in our excitement and talking talking like that we must have forgotten you know so they all started rowing the boat faster 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 they are doing that and still they are not raging normally it will take not more than about 20 minutes they are rowing for almost 45 minutes what happened we are going in wrong direction probably this way instead of going this way they started looking at the compass but compass is going right direction till they started rowing till not raging morning twilight has come the silhouettes on the other side are showing shadow then they got a doubt so one of the person got a doubt he got up from the boat and came out of the boat and he was very much on the shore of the city calcutta you know the boat had not moved even an inch why hmm? they tied the boat and they forgot to untie the boat so they had not lift the anchor of the boat you know therefore ramprasha parmamsa says that unless you lift the anchor of your boat your boat will not move you know what is the anchor of your boat our likes and dislikes i want this i don't want this i like this i don't like these things you know everything should be like this gone therefore you have to completely change your self so during your pyc here you have set a wonderful lifestyle for you getting up in the morning 4:30 up to 10 o'clock you must do all these things so you must do all these things and work at all the levels annamaya pranamaya manomaya vignanamaya kosha everywhere you are going to do these things and asana pranayama mudra sandha kriya bhajan everything is there everything you should follow so that there will be a total transformation 
this called the integrate approach that we have so not only you deal with your adhi and the vyadhi and you promote positive health prevent diseases but you can do many things so all these different things have been taught to you in this yic that's what you are going to see therefore a time table has been set for this thing for you so to bring the lifestyle change morning 5 am up to 10 pm you have to get up early this is one of the biggest problems you know because modern lifestyle sleep very late 12 o'clock 1 o'clock 2 o'clock get up at 7 o'clock 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock completely change already you have started doing that because that wrong sleeping things is going to spoil your biorhythm of the body brings about a tremendous amount of inner stress and the tailor made practice of integrate approach of yoga that we are teaching you and we have continuous monitoring process that goes on you know so you must see how your breathing rate is coming down you must see how your relaxation is coming up how you are able to do different asanas nicely physical symptoms and everything you must monitor and bring about the change that's how you have to do this thing so to bring ananda to your life and see that you become happier day by day day by day not get stressed up every day you know for that you have to bring about the change so the ananda vimamsa gives us a great direction to our life you know and see that we become happy that for all the times so we can the said that we should be happy all the time smiling 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 you know what is the habit that we have some people are always grim even if you cut a joke they don't smile you know so change that habit you know man is the maker of his own destiny you know you should be smiling all the time full of energy vitality and therefore to inherit ananda to think that we are all ananda personified and have the nice ananda in life smile on the face spread the ananda to everyone that is the thing that we have to work on that but the habits die hard very difficult to change our habits but you have to work on that we have the freedom to change you have to lift the anchor of your boat then the boat will start moving and that is the great message that our taitri upanishad has given us so let us take up these things and see that you all grow very nicely to become happier day by day and spread the fragrance of bliss to everyone more and more more and more so that we are close and we bring happiness and health to everyone in the world at large international day of yoga is coming up therefore all of you should practice this uh, particular yoga protocol and understood the subtleties of the yoga protocol the 40 minutes protocol simran and our teachers will teach you and see that you do all things perfectly june 21 25 crores of people this year we want to see that they follow in our country the yoga protocol and we must take the photos and send to ministry of oil that the goal that we have with that we close the session if you have any questions please keep the things written and then we'll have interaction session at that time we can have question and answer सर्वे सुखिना सर्वे सन्तु निरामया भद्राणि पश्यन्तु शांति 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 so how are you all any questions that you people have so nice to see no anjali how are you in los angeles you know ji narendra kumar Alok, Gaurav, Tiwani Agde, Dilip Kumar. So nice to see all of you.
धन्यवाद सर प्रणाम ओके इफ यू हैव सम क्वेश्चंस यू कैन सेंड Okay, else you can send by email any questions you have, and we'll meet probably next week. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar. Namaskar, Guruji. Bye. Namaste. Thanks for having me. So nice. Thank you, Madam Guruji. Hmm. Good. Guru Purnima. Very good. Namaskar. Thank you. Namaskar, Guruji. Hmm. प्रणाम गुरु जी प्रणाम थैंक यू नरेंद्र कुमार शाम जी नाइस थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रणाम गुरु जी प्रणाम प्रणाम